Hi, I'm Firefighter Jamison Smith with the Equipment Development Committee in charge of turnouts. And today we're going to talk about the routine inspection of your PPE. First thing we're going to look at is the overall cleanliness. We'll start with the outer shell, make sure that it's clean, free of debris. After that, we're going to look at the snaps for our moisture barrier. Make sure that all the snaps are connected on the sides, at the bottom, and that your Velcro is intact at the top. Look at the overall condition of your moisture barrier. Make sure that there's no missing stitches and there's no tears that will allow moisture or heat in. Next, we're going to look at the physical damage. We're going to make sure that there's no rips or tears or cuts. So on the outer shell, we're looking around, pulling it apart to make sure that there's no tears. We can see right here that there's a tear in the arm and that there's a hole in a seam. After that, we're going to check the condition of the gauntlet on the coat. The gauntlet should still be elastic, it shouldn't be frayed, and the thumb hole should not be ripped. On our outer shell, we also want to look at the condition of all of the um, buckles. Make sure that the buckles are all intact and that there's no rips. After that, we'll look at the condition of the Velcro. We want to make sure that all the hook and loop Velcro is in good shape, that it sticks, there's no rips, and there's no frays. Next you want to check the integrity of your reflective stripes. So look at the gray stripe, make sure that it still reflects. Look at your gray striping across the, the chest. Make sure that there's no burn damage, as is here. You can also check the reflectivity by shining a flashlight and making sure that the gray stripe reflects. Now we'll look at the back of the coat. First you want to look at your DRD strap. Make sure that it's here, that it's accessible to pull, and that the Velcro is intact to keep it close to the coat. Then we want to make sure that we have the LACOFD panel at the top, that there's no stitches missing. And we want to make sure that we have a name panel at the bottom. All coats issued after 2007 need to have a name panel and we don't spray paint our coats anymore. We want to make sure that the flash hood face opening has not lost its elasticity and that there are no burn holes. Then we're going to check the helmet for any cracks. No dull spots. We want to make sure that the chin strap is here. It's securely mounted to the helmet. That the Velcro is intact. And that the harness system is attached properly. Then we're going to look at our gloves. First making sure that they're not wet that there's no liner inversion, that there's no melting or burn holes anywhere on the glove. The inspection of the pants is not unlike the inspection of the coat. You want to look at the overall cleanliness of the outer shell as well as the moisture barrier. We're also going to look for rips, tears, or cuts, that there's no threads missing at the seams, you want to look at your closure systems, make sure that they close. Make sure the Velcro is intact, it's not torn. Then we'll look at our boots. You want to make sure that there's no rips or tears in the rubber that will keep it from being water resistive. And you can look at the tread on the bottom, make sure that you have adequate tread to prevent slipping. Now if there's any discrepancies found on your routine inspection, such as it needing to be cleaned, or you need a repair, or there's a hazardous materials on your turnouts, then you can send in your garment to our approved ISP, which is ECMS, for cleaning, alterations, or repair. You can find the cleaning and alteration forms on the county internet page under miscellaneous forms. You can fill out the cleaning and alteration form completely, Place it in a clear plastic bag 
with your dry turnouts and send it to your battalion headquarters. If your turnouts are wet or have been exposed to a hazardous material, fill out the form completely, place your wet turnouts inside of the plastic bag, and tape the completed form to the outside of the bag, or put a completed form inside of a Ziploc bag and place inside. And if there's a hazardous materials exposure, note that on a tag around the bag. PPE is our last line of defense. Let's make sure we take care of them.